Hello. Uh, it's uh, fantastic to be able to present uh, this uh, piece of research um, with um, written uh, with my student Lee Youngson. Uh, my name is uh, Theo Dunas, um, and I'm directing the ArcChain project um, of which this paper uh, is part of. Uh, essentially, this paper discusses invoice smart contracts for design SMEs. Um, as I discussed already, um, this is part of the decentralized building information modeling project uh, as part of arcchain.cc, um, where you can visit and read uh, all of the uh, research that our group is conducting. Um, the problem we faced and we were trying to address is that there are about 50, million, 50 billion pounds in late payments owed to UK SMEs. Uh, and this was identified uh, by research done by Penny in 2020. So we thought that potentially the use of smart contracts to handle payments might be uh, a solution uh, to this problem. And we wanted to essentially establish the process to find out. And also uh, as part of um, the decentralized building information modeling project and prototypes, we always attempt to oper operationalize our research and create prototypes that would address the problems we are discussing. Um, and again, the main idea is that uh, could we actually have a, a simple smart contract that would provide a solution to late payment? Uh, smart contracts are essentially code that run on a blockchain and can automatically trigger a set of actions based on specific input or events taking place. Uh, the research involves design SMEs in the UK architecture, engineering, and construction industry. Uh, we use the ground method study combined with um, uh, questionnaire SMS structured interviews and a rapid software prototype, attempting to shape the software prototype out of the questionnaire and the semi structured uh, interviews. The questionnaire was used to confirm the issue of late payment amongst uh, uh, AC design SMEs. Uh, it was based on the statistics from the research article from Tide. Um, it involved specifically Royal Institute of British Architects and the uh, Institute of Architectural Technologies firms, and it involved both domestic and non-domestic projects. The interviews uh, following on from the questionnaire uh, with specific uh, uh, respondents of the questionnaire used to, were used to identify the current invoicing processes used by design SMEs, gather the initial opinion on smart contracts and the general awareness uh, of those firms. It involved again REBA and CIAT firms and domestic and non-domestic projects. The prototype uh, that we built was used to determine whether uh, a smart contract invoicing process would be a valid alternative for the UK AC design firms. And information gathered from the questionnaire and interview results was used to shape the prototype. We based it on uh, an escrow smart contract written in solidity uh, based on the Ethereum um, blockchain. Now, uh, on the research findings, uh, what was very clear is that 73% uh, of respondents agreed that late or non-payment was an issue. 40% of respondents would work for a client again despite late payment. And with the exception of requiring payment upfront, there is no solution to stopping late payment. We suggest we supposed that most of the design SMEs would follow the RIBA plan of works, which is a comprehensive framework for design, design and construction phases in the AC industry and provides a rigorous framework for the uh, regulation of relationships between um, uh, SME firms and uh, clients, but at the same time, uh, a really nice stage uh, in terms of the development of uh, design work. Surprisingly, however, in the interview results, we found out that none of the SMEs were using the RIBA plan of work. They were used to developing their own invoicing stages that suited their own business model as it was more flexible. Uh, 
But at the same time, that flexibility came into carrying most of the risk in terms of payments and uh, the monetary relationship with the client. So we uh, thought and, and found out through the interviews that uh, potentially a smart contract invoicing process could work on these levels. So we designed around the interview results um, and the questionnaire results uh, a, a small prototype. It, it uh, also developed not only from the point of view of uh, having a process, as you see on the right, essentially where the client gives approvals for states to commence, the SME carries out work, then uh, the uh, design SME sends complete the work to client for approval. Uh, if the client determines whether they're satisfied or not, either the work is returned and continues or the client is satisfied with work and drawings are issued submitted. Uh, and even uh, invoices are sent to client either electronically or by mail, um, then client transfers funds to design SME. This is the kind of normal uh, process with which they would work with. Uh, so we tried to change that process to distribute risk evenly between client and design SME. We broke each stage into smaller stages and we increased client involvement and client, client sign off in specific stages so that uh, funds would be held essentially in escrow from the smart contract and would be released uh, um, in a set uh, time and date when uh, the client determines whether they will be satisfied with the work or not. Um, so this is how it, it changes compared to the normal process, right? So if we're discussing, for example, the creation of a 3D model, uh, the client determines whether they're satisfied or not, and then the funds are released from the smart contract to the SME and this triggers the start of the next smart contract that governs the next phase of the project. Um, we concluded by verifying that UK AC design SMEs suffer from late or non-payment and that uh, the reduction of risk of late payment would have to be shared more evenly. And essentially uh, we modeled a prototype that could contribute to that um, reduction of risk uh, and that smart contracts invoicing uh, through our prototype could provide a solution. Um, this was done by an undergraduate student, I have to say, which was really amazing in terms of the work that we did. Uh, it was uh, limited in terms of uh, time, uh, but not in terms of scope. Uh, and we had obviously uh, COVID-19 to deal with uh, as we conducted this research last year. And we had essentially also certain uh, views uh, that we had to take into account in terms of how we would structure the research. Um, what we're doing at the moment is we're developing the prototype and we're trying to incorporate it along with the other digital tools we've been building on the decentralized building information modeling process. Uh, and we want to be able to offer this as a real service uh, as fast as possible uh, and to be able to continue work on uh, payments in the design stages of uh, the AC industry. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll be happy to take any questions.